Hey there, boys and girls. Today, we are going to finish our self-portrait. Here's how we're going to do it. The first thing we're gonna make sure we have is the face that we initially cut out because we need the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth off of it. Now, if you have lost this face, please do not worry because you can simply just draw these items on the color choices of what you're about to create. So don't worry. But if you have it, ideally you would want to use this. That way you don't have to worry about drawing the shape again. You also need your hair color because your eyebrows are the same color as your hair. You need your skin color because your nose and your face are the same color. You will also need a color for your lips. Whatever color you choose, you can choose a different skin color that um, maybe I sent home that you'd prefer. You could even choose like a red or a pink if you wanted to do like a brighter lip, up to you. And then finally, you'll need an eye color. And we'll get to that in a moment. So first, I want to cut out my eyebrows. So I'm going to cut out my eyebrows and I'm cutting up them from upside down that way I don't cut anything else off like so and I'm going to get out my hair color and because my hair color in this particular situation is black I'm going to get out my white colored pencil to trace you can use a regular pencil to trace you, you will be able to see it. I'm just using white so that you can see it a tiny bit better on camera than what I would normally, or than you normally would. You'd be able to see it just a little bit better. So I'm gonna do both of these. Just do the best you can. I know the eyebrows are kind of funny shaped. And then I'm gonna cut one out at a time. And so I don't lose them both, I'm gonna glue one down at a time. So I'm going to stick it like that and make sure that I put glue on the side of the pencil line. And I'm just gonna put it above my ears. And I'll do it again. So, okay, and if you need to cut them to make them a little bit shorter, you can. I think mine are fine today. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kind of switch gears and I'm gonna do my mouth. And I'm going to cut out the shape of my mouth. like so. Find the color you want. Now remember, your lips are a slightly different color naturally than your skin. So I'm going to use a lighter color. You use whatever color you want. You want pink lips, red lips, go for it. Up to you. I would also suggest not making them the same color as your hair. Just because it's prob your lips are probably not the same color as your hair. All right, now I've got my lips. I'm gonna make sure that I put glue on the side with this bright green line that I used so you guys could see it. And I'm gonna put them just for like at the end of where my ears are. So I stick it down like that. And then I'm gonna go back to my eyes. My nose will be the very last thing that I add. So. I'm gonna cut out the entire football shape, okay? And I'm gonna cut out one at a time because I don't wanna lose them. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the cheek to help me in this because I need the whole football as like just a blank white football shape. So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to trace it on my cheek. And if you have a, a different white sheet of paper, 
use that. I'm trying to consolidate and conserve paper. So I'm using, I'm just recycling my resources, okay? So got that and I'm gonna cut it out. And I'm gonna glue it down. Okay, then I'm gonna take this same eye shape. I didn't lose it because I still need it. And I'm going to cut out the iris, which is the colorful part of your eye. That little black dot in the middle is your pupil. You can't cut that out, it's just a dot. So don't worry about that. And then I'm gonna trace it. And if you lose this, please don't worry. Just draw a circle on your eye color. Okay, there is no need to ever panic over something such as this. Misplace it, it's okay, draw a circle. But we always wanna use it if we have it because it gives it the exact shape that we initially drew, which makes things a little more fun. Okay, so then I'm going to stick it down in my white football and then it gives you the exact eye that you're looking for and I'm gonna do it again. So I'll do it on this side. Now I know I might be moving a little bit fast, but please remember this is a video and you can pause it at any moment. So learn how to do something, pause it. Then do the project or do that step and then turn it back on, hit play again. Okay, so tracing it on this cheek area Recycling what I have. And then we go back to this. Cutting out the iris, tracing the iris. So it looks almost finished, but we are definitely missing one big part of our face, and that would be our nose. So I'm gonna make sure I have my skin color close by that I used originally, and I'm gonna cut out my nose, just cutting it off at where I initially stopped drawing it. Okay, then I'm going to trace it on my skin tone paper. Okay, and then before I glue it down, here is something I'm going to do just to make it, like, make it have a little bit more excitement to it. I'm going to fold the nose hot dog style, like this. And then I'm gonna open it right back up and I'm gonna put glue just at the very top. And then I'm gonna stick it down like that so that when you look at it, it actually like pops out of the picture just a tiny bit. And that gives it a natural shadow that a natural nose would give you so that you see that it's 3D. To finish this picture, to make it complete, we are going to do 
one simple thing. We're going to add a pupil in each eye and we're gonna add the lip line so that you have officially created your self-portrait. I hope you enjoyed this project and I look forward to our next one.